Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss our first question and that is what is the difference between before save, before create and before update. So let's switch to the question. So now before understanding the question, uh, what we need to understand that uh, what are before save, before create and before update. So uh, these are the active record callbacks. Okay, so we first need to know what are the callbacks before knowing before save before create and before update callbacks are methods that get called at certain moments of an object's life cycle with callbacks it is possible to write code that will run whenever an ob active record object is created saved updated deleted validated or loaded from the database i mean uh, whenever you create an object there are there might be some possible callbacks that you that you want to invoke before creating that object and there are some callbacks possible that you want to invoke before after uh, before updating that object or after updating that object and uh, sometimes you want to invoke few uh, callbacks after deleting an object so there are so many possibilities and you can uh, know more about active record callbacks at let me open that link record callbacks and here you can get more details about it but in this video we will explain uh, we will try to solve before save before create and before update practically okay now let's see that. suppose you here i'm considering that you have an application setup already uh, if you if don't then uh, please create a fresh range application or a demo application and then where where you can practice these callbacks so let's open the models and i'm taking author model as for implementing these callbacks here okay so let's start with the before create callback first so this is the before this is the syntax of writing before create before create and you can write um, you can assign a method name to this callback so let's say set default entry now you have assigned a method name to this callback now you need to implement this method just implement it and just to make a check like a puts i'm in for create block now what we need to do that uh, let me open the schema first you can see the author table that the author table has three attributes name email and country okay now what uh, and, and you can also see that there are no validation in author model for any of the field so what i am doing here is that whenever i create a, an author and whenever i try to save an author then what I want to do here is that uh, I just want to assign a default country. Okay. So for example, if you try to create an author without pro supplying a country name to him, uh, our callback will append, ad uh, will add a default country or will assign a default country to author. So let's check. First, we need to check if uh, author's country is present or not. So if self dot country dot nil then self dot country equal to let's say India okay now let's save this method and we will run this callback on our Rails console so now let me explain the before create callback uh, before running it practically so before create is an active record callback and it can be used or called whenever we create a new active record model instance or we create an instance first time for any active record model by creating i mean that this callback get invoked before your transaction begin to create a new active record model instance okay 
before your transaction begin okay now let me open the console sorry let's clear this and now open the rails console again now you will see let's create an author author dot new name let's name is Alex Alex Steve save it. okay we are not saying we are just initializing now you can see that I just instantiate an author or instance with name Alex Steve email Neil and country Neil okay now when I save this author You can see the callback get invoked before our transaction begins. So you can see here, I am in before create block. And now you can also see that country is set to India. So our callback get run here. So whenever we use before create, our before create invoked before beginning the transaction. Okay, you can clearly let me show you again here like when I, as soon as i call the author dot save you can see our callback get invoked and then transaction begin then insert query fire and then transaction committed and it returns true okay now you can try it another way as well don't invoke save method you can call directly author dot create name alex steve alex marks Okay. Now, when you create a new author like this, you will again see your callbacks get invoked before transaction begin, then insert query file, then transition committed. And now you can see it's the ID of author, name and default country is India. Okay. Now, it is the time to check the before save method. Sorry, before update method. So before update it's just like before create like before create get involved every time when we create a new instance first time for any active record model then our before create callback get involved and similarly the before update callback involved whenever we update an existing record or an existing active record model instance okay now let me call the similar let me create the similar callback and method for before update let's have this before update and let's just say default email okay now implement this method We will check again by ports. I am in before update block. If self dot email dot mail self dot email author at the red example.com and now end this so now let's reload the console again okay. and let's create another author with the same name and now author dot save author dot update we are updating this author author dot update name change the name let's add my name you can see whenever as soon as i update this new author uh, latest author you can see here that a before update callback invoked here i am in before update block and you can see the email has been updated here okay now let me update this author again if I 
unblock this method and now if I update my author let me change my name to Ravi Singh to Ravi Singh Kashyap okay, you can see that nothing happens because email is not nil so email does not set to default and but our callback get invoked okay it means our callback get invoked and it doesn't perform anything because the check we made there that if email is nil is false so it does not updated email but callback get invoked and you can also see that we have default set default country but this callback does not get invoked why because we are running a before update callback so it means we are updating an existing author we are not creating a new author similarly let's reload my console if you create a new author let's create it you can see that before create callback invoked but before update doesn't why because we just created a new author and when you create only before create callback get invoked okay it avoids calling before update because we are not fetching any object and updating it okay so this is the difference between before create and before update that before create will run whenever you create a new instance and before update will run or will get invoked whenever you update an existing instance now let's check before save use these both method use these both as before save okay now i have before save for all these two methods so now whenever i will create a new author both method get invoked let's reload the console and again create a new author Okay, you can see here what I call I called before save so both before create and before update callbacks invoked okay so you can see that default country is also set and default email is also set here for this new user so what we can understand here is that before save is an active record callback that get invoked anytime either you create a new instance of uh, active record model or you update an existing instance of active record model okay so this is the difference between before save before create and before update now this is the now let's discuss one more thing that how we can write these methods so this is a uh, very standard format for implementing these callbacks but if your uh, callbacks are very of very few lines then you can use macro style implementation for before callback as well for example you can save it like before save uh, let me write that method here before save do now use this contain here Let's comment out these blocks and call it as well. And write this into also a macro style function. Or say do and paste that statements inside this block. Now let's create another author reload the console first now create a new author author dot new name oh no. okay. now let's save it dot save you will see this callback is still works okay because uh, even I do not assign a method name to that callback so it is still work so it this is another way of writing 
uh, the before save before create and before update uh, methods you can use similar style for before create and you can use similar for before update as well so this works and now one more thing that you will see that uh, uh, let me show you I'm in before create block and I'm in before update block. So every before callback invoked before your transaction begins. Okay. So here you can see also see that when we run, when an update query is fire, your before update uh, callback get invoked before transaction begins. So whenever you try, whenever you try to create or update an uh, entity or a uh, record, for active record model your before callbacks will get invoked before your transaction begin okay before your database transaction begin then your query fire like whatever it is creating a record or updating a record or deleting a record then your transaction commits now you can use the same methods like uh, after create let's uh, comment out these things and let's try to check with these methods okay so for example if you call these methods at after say and after say let's use this after create and after update now reload our console create a new author Let's make change the name or no sync. You can see here now our callback get invoked. Okay, but I am in before create callback. Why? Because it uh, it is executed after our transaction begin and insert query fire. Okay, so now you can see that I am in before create work, but it does not. Uh, set the India as default country. Why? Because we just assigned country here. We did not save that. So, uh, or we did not update that value. So this is not showing country. So for example, if you uh, access the last author, you will not see country India here. Okay. If you run an update query for after update here, you will see that. And similarly, after update will work, you need to run uh, query here so that uh, and with that query it will capture this default email and save it to the database so the main reason for showing after save here is that you can clearly see that before create executes when before your transaction begin and after create executes when your transit before your transaction commit okay so your transaction begin first query will be or operation will be executed and then your after callbacks will get invoked okay so this is the difference between uh, these uh, before create before save and before update and similarly we also understand the after create after update and after save so the main difference is before create will work on create only when you create a new instance before update will work on update only whenever you update an existing instance and before save will work on both either you creating a new instance or you updating an existing instance so that was the main difference and this is the objective of our this video we solved our first question uh, if you have any doubt or any query you can ping me through comment sections and we will try to I will try to reach out to you for your queries. Okay. Thanks for watching this. And let's meet in the next video for another question. And in the next video, we will discuss the question of how many types of associations are in trails. Okay. So thanks for watching this again.